My car was inoperable and I got out to fix it and a car came along and hit me and my car. So I was basically pinched between two cars. I, it was, I think it was more of a, okay, I just know that they've amputated both legs and my pelvis was broken in five places. I had a lot of negativity coming in, but I definitely was like, I don't care what you say, I'm doing it anyway. But you get up and I think immediately, you know, gosh, I gotta get, I have to get here and I have to get there and then I have to get to work and then I have to take the kids or pick the kids up. So I am not thinking about putting my legs on. I'm thinking about getting up and getting on with my day. Well, one of my hobbies is scuba diving and in order to scuba dive, you have to be able to carry your own equipment and, you know, I want to be as independent as possible. I don't want somebody else having to do things for me. Um, so I had to have a set of prosthetics that I could get wet. And with as expensive as some of these are, computers don't like water. Um, so I had to have a totally different set for swimming. And um, I got a nylon knee. I mean, it's really basic stuff. It's waterproof, you know, they can handle salt water. I've been through several different prosthetists. Um, and in the past, I've run into prosthetists who are strictly, this is what we'll get paid for, here you go. And you're out the door. As a patient, you know, you've got to be able to say, no, I don't think that'll work for me, or no, I really want to try that because I really feel like that'll work in my life. The, the second I showed up at Scott Sablich Prosthetics and Research, I realized that that's where I wanted to be and that's where I was going to stay from now on, <laughs> forever and ever. Um, they really, truly care about what you feel like when you're walking. So you're not walking in thinking, oh, this is going to be horrible. You know, you walk in and immediately feel good and you have that sense of there's life and there's happiness and there's things going on that are good. The, the insurance um, support is amazing because they're constantly working um, with the insurance companies. They know who to work with in the insurance companies. They have a good rapport. It's an extremely important part of prosthetics. If I talk to other amputees, I would immediately tell them to, to scout out what they're looking for. You know, they know what their life is like. They know what they want to do in the future. Um, they need to set their goals and set them high. Um, and they're going to have to have a prosthetist that really wants to support that. Um, and so what I would advise other patients to do would be to, to look at different options, but definitely check out Sablage.